So today I want to talk about a challenging issue a lot of my clients face, which is figuring out if they want to change their job or if they want to change their whole career. So when you're not enjoying your job, you might just feel like you're done with your whole career. You might be really frustrated, angry, maybe feeling a bit apathetic. And in some cases, you might just feel like you've had enough and that you want to make a major drastic career change. I'm Vida Thompson, a career coach, and I've worked with hundreds of clients to help them figure out their ideal career. And in this video, I'm going to share a couple of exercises to help you figure this out, along with clear signs that you might need a job change versus clear signs you might need a career change. Exercise number one, figure out what you like and what you don't like about your job. So this sounds pretty simple, but this exercise is a little bit harder than you'd think, but it's really so crucial to figuring out whether you need a whole new career or if you just need to look for a new job. So what you need to do is write down a list of what you like and what you don't like about your current role. Now, it might be pretty easy to write down the things you don't like and a little bit more challenging to write down the things that you do like, but do take the time to think of both. And as you zero in on the specifics of what you actually enjoy and don't enjoy about your job, you might start to see whether it's the actual job itself that's the problem or if it's other factors such as work environment, your manager, the team, corporate culture, the industry, or something else. So for example, if you wrote down, don't like boss's management style, that might mean a new job. If you wrote down, don't like constantly responding to people's complaints, that might mean a new career. If you wrote, don't like company's mission and purpose, that could mean a new job. Or if you wrote something like, don't like the amount of unexpected administrative work in my job, that could mean that a new career could be the fix. So this is just part of the equation, but digging into this might give you a clearer idea of what the problems are and what you're not liking in your current role so you can start to make a plan to fix it. Exercise number two, get clear on your career values. So figuring out what you value when it comes to careers is crucial to finding something you enjoy. If you're not enjoying your job right now, chances are that something's not aligned when it comes to your career values. So your career values are really what is most important to you when it comes to your career. So here are just a few examples of values that could be important to different people. Independence, creativity, balance, teamwork, chances to help others, learning, stability, variety, and more. So try writing down a list of your most important values when it comes to your career. Then think about your current role and how it matches up to these values. If it's not matching up, where is it falling short and why? Digging into this and thinking about it can help you narrow down what is not working for you in your current job and figure out if it is the job itself or if it is actually the career that's not working for you. And if you want some help figuring this out, try out my free easy exercise to learn about your career values. Um, so check out my link in the description and comments below to learn more. So what are the signs you might need a job change? So sign number one is the things that you don't like about the job are actually part of the management style, the team, or the company culture. So if we think back to that exercise where you wrote down what you liked and what you don't like, as you're reading through the things you don't like, you might realize that a whole lot of them don't have that much to do with the career itself, but they have more to do with the company or the environment. So for example, maybe you wrote down things like not feeling appreciated, 
boss doesn't accept or consider my ideas. Team's really competitive and doesn't help each other. Constant negative vibe in the workplace or no flexibility, no chance to work from home. So if you wrote down things that are more along these lines, there's not really a whole lot to do with the actual career itself. It's more about this particular environment, this particular workplace. So if you're seeing this theme, it could mean that you might wanna try changing your job versus starting over in a whole new career. Number two, you've only had one job in your field. So if you've only ever had one job in your field and you absolutely hate it, that could definitely mean that it's not the career for you. But it could also mean that it was not the company, the job, the team, and so on for you. It can be really hard to know if you've only had one job in your chosen field if you actually do need a total career change. Now you've probably also invested a lot in this career already, whether it's getting an education in the field or just putting in the time and effort to build up the experience. So depending on how much you've invested already and how long you've worked in the job, it might be worth it to give another job in your field a try before you ultimately decide to change careers. So at the very least, if you do that, at least you'll know you fully gave it a chance and you tried out more than one role before putting your time and energy into a major career change. And maybe you'll actually find a job you like if you try out another one. And if not, you might learn more about yourself in the next role, which will help you decide what to do in a new career. Number three, you can't see a future in your current role. Sometimes we get tired of a position when we're looking for a new challenge, and often that challenge might be advancing into a leadership role. So if you're feeling tired of your role, you can always ask yourself, would a shift into leadership be the right type of change for you? So maybe you are in the right career, but you're ready for the next step, i.e. the next job level up. On the other hand, as you're thinking about this, if you look at the future possibilities in your career, and maybe you can't even imagine taking on your manager's role, that could mean that you're actually leading towards a career change. Now, here are the clear signs you might need to change your career. Number one, the things you don't like about the job are actually a core part of the career. So thinking about that earlier exercise, reading through the things you don't like, you might notice that some of those things are a pretty big part of the job itself. So maybe you wrote down things you don't like about the job, such as constantly dealing with customer complaints, spending a large portion of time on administrative work, don't enjoy making sales calls, or don't like bureaucracy and predictability of the job. If you write down things this specific about the job itself, it's possible that you're not loving the actual career. So the next thing you need to ask yourself is, can this career exist without a focus on these things? So for example, if you don't like bureaucracy and you're in an HR role, could there be a role at another type of company, maybe a tech company or a startup that has less bureaucracy that would be a better fit for you? Number two, you've tried working in a few different settings and things just didn't improve. So maybe you haven't been sure about your career path for a while, but you've really given it a try. You've had multiple jobs within your field, possibly within different organizations or even industries. So once you've worked in multiple roles and you've realized that you still haven't really enjoyed any of them, chances are it might be the career that's the problem. Number three, you think that the work of others in your organization looks more interesting than your own. So maybe it seems like the work um, other people do in other departments is really interesting and the work in your own department is uninteresting. If this is the case, it could mean that there's probably something missing in your current role 
that appears to exist in these other positions. So maybe it's the chance to work as a member of a team, or maybe you get to be more independent. Maybe the work seems more meaningful somehow. Maybe it's more analytical and that's something that interests you. So as you're researching that, this will help you identify what's not working so you can get clear on what you actually want and which career might be a better fit for you. As a career coach, I provide career coaching, resume writing, and interview preparation services to help my clients find their ideal careers. So if this is something you're struggling with, if you're trying to figure out if you need a new job or if you need a new career, I can definitely help you get there. So check out my information in the description and feel free to click through to my website to learn more about what I do. Thanks for checking out my video.